better. I just want to find out if is the Duke actually down here because I haven't seen him. Don't care. Will's good. He's fine. I don't know where the Duke is, though. Alright, I'm going to try to restart this and try to figure out, did I miss something with the Duke? Because I don't know. So... I reloaded back to before I entered the submersible and before we went off to the Iron Throne just to check something real quick because I was looking all over the place for where Duke Ravenguard was on the Iron Throne. Could not find him. I ended up looking it up and went to see where he was supposed to be and he just wasn't there. And I tried restarting and reloading and restarting and reloading and he just never showed up um, in the dungeon that he's supposed to be in to free him from the Iron Throne. So then what I decided on doing is I decided to reload a, pre a save just before I enter the submersible in the first place. And look, look at this. Look at this. Do you know what this means? It means Mizora lied to us. She put one over on us. Look, Raven Duke Ravenguard isn't even a prisoner. He's not even been captured by Gortash. Will just sold his soul to the devil for the second time. And his father was fine. His father was fine the whole time. What do you have to say for yourself, Duke? Her son will rise. Our future is He's decided. right there. He's not kidnapped. Stop He's that. right. He's right there. Our time has come, son. Together, we will usher in a new dawn. I don't even know what to do now. What is a hero, my son, if not an actor for the greater good? Freyrun suffers in darkness. Tears abandoned us. Oh. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. You, Gortash, and I will ignite the final spark, my son. And that is the he greatest is of goods. supposed to be kidnapped. Don't you understand you're protected the lifted parasite? For a brief moment, uncertainty clouds his mind, then dissipates. The astral prism vibrates in concord. What nonsense is this? I... The prism quivers once more. Raven Guard falters. Help I'm me. trying to. Your tadpole seizes. The prism stills. Raven Guard's empty eyes meet yours. As I said, Baldur's Gate will ascend to Rill's first and only grand city. <sighs> I don't. Yeah. I already did this with Ford. First comes yeah. a vision of terror, but beyond. So, the real man is still in there, somewhere. Have we finished? Yeah, then? but you're still, you're not. You're still here. You're still here. Mzora's in her camp. She's telling us. Where is Mzora? Keeping pace. I'm so confused. This is, this is a bug. Like, I know this is a bug. 
the Duke Raven right. Guard. What now? With haste. Is not in the Iron Throne. What are you smoking, Zora? What are you smoking? This is a dirty trick. Come for a chat. Come for a chat. I don't understand. I don't understand. And I know that Oren's not around, so I know it's not a doppelganger. Ah! Okay, so I'm a bit disappointed, uh, as you can imagine, because unfortunately it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to rescue Duke Ravenguard, at least not yet, because he doesn't actually need rescuing. Well, he does in the sense that he's still under the clutches of Lord Gortash, and he still has the has the tadpole in his head. But Gortash never actually sent him to the Iron Forge. He's still standing just fine uh, at Worm's Rock Fortress um, in the Coronation Hall. So he doesn't need rescuing from the Iron Forge because he's not there right this moment. And, you know, so it's either a bug, Mizora's lying to us the whole time, or Gortash's brain is on vacay right now, and um, or all three. But uh, at minimum, I'm pretty sure this is a bug. I did submit a bug to Larian Studios and tried to give a description of how to reproduce it and um, what troubleshooting I did, because I, I actually tried reloading back to my previous save immediately following the coronation and kept um you know i spoke with mizora checked duke ravenguard was still there even mizora just told me that he was relocated went back to camp did the deal checked back at the coronation hall duke was still there went to sleep checked back duke was still there switched maps over to lower city checked back Duke was still in the Coronation Hall. So he never actually gets taken away. Um, so I, I'm i just going to put a pause on this and continue with other things. I have no idea if there's a time limit to this. It seemed, like, it seemed to suggest that if we don't go after Do Duke Ravenguard soon enough, I presume maybe after a few long rests, he's just going to die. But I'm like... How is he going to die in the Iron Throne if he's in the Coronation Hall? Can he die in the Iron Throne if he never actually gets sent to the Iron Throne? Is his body just going to randomly die in the Coronation Hall? I, I don't know. Um, and I also don't know if the bug is actually going to get fixed before I finish this playthrough. Um, so it would be really disappointing if I can't fully help um if, if, if i can't fully help will save his dad especially after we made the deal which i do believe will would have done so it would be it would break my heart if he not only if not only he wasn't able to save his dad but in the process he also doomed his own soul for all of eternity to zariel or whatever her name is whatever their name is uh that would just be a, an awful double whammy for will because i adore will so much and I would hate for all the things he did just because he was trying to do the right thing to be in vain. Um, worst case scenario, I'll go through the playthrough and complete the game, and if this bug doesn't get resolved and Will isn't actually able to save his father and his soul at the same time, you know, the, the, the one silver lining is that gives me new content to look forward to when I play through this game a second time. You know, the, the replay value of this game is so great. Um, and as much... I, I'm rooting for Will. I'm hoping that the bug will be resolved before I, I beat this game. There's still plenty of game left, so there is still a chance. There's still tons of things for me to do in Act 3. So we'll see how it goes. For example, this creepy, greasy, smelly climb down that we're just going to explore, because I skipped past this. Oh. Interesting. Oh, I know where this is. 
Oh, I know this is where this is. Yeah, so this takes us back to... Okay. Got it. Did I not find this area last time? Ah. A greasy, smelly climb up. And there's a cache there. I don't think I ever got. But... While we're down here, since we're relatively close to the guild hall... I think we're really close to the guild hall. This might be faster. I wanted to check something out. Kaz Gandral Chessa. Oh, it's the it's the vampire uh vampire spawn. Yeah, 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 it's a vampire spawn. So uh what's shaking bacon? I'm glad we have a Starian here with us. My children. My sweet ones. What have they done to you? I'm hungry, father. I'm so hungry. It hurts, father. The hunger. It never stops. Please, do you know of anything that can be Animals? Done? Let, let them feed on animals is the best you can do. I'd put them out of their misery myself. No. Oh no, you're on your own there. Let, let them feed on animals. It's the best you can do. I've been fighting it, but I think you're right. Better that than they start feeding I agree. off humans. Although once you start talking to animals, you start wondering about how comfortable you are with that as well. At least I'm not alone. I, I could not have borne that eternity. Yeah. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for everything. I do not know if this is more blessing or curse, but it is at least something. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. So I wanted to go back to the guild hall because if you remember, um, first of all, Maul's there, and he never, Maul never got his eye, got their eye patch back. Yeah, Maul never got their eye patch back. I'm gonna. I, I'm curious why there was no dialogue about the eye patch. But most importantly, when we were at Hope's, the House of Hope, we found the contract, Raphael's contract, with Maul. Ready to do some business? Good to see you again. What are you up to this time? Is this I found the contract you signed with Raphael, Maul. Do you want it? Give me that! Can't have this floating around loose. I thought I was meant to be the thief. Nice. Is that is this how you survive the Shadowlands? A deal with Raphael? Are you going to destroy it? Why would you sign a deal with the devil? I killed Raphael in hell. He's gone for good. Why would you sign a deal with the devil? Why indeed? Why would you sign a deal with the devil? A pact is just another deal. He can call himself patron, but Big Raff doesn't own me. He's just giving me the tools to take what I want. Mm -hmm. As for what that is, well, you didn't think I planned to stop at running the Fetch's brats, did you? I hope you don't regret this, Maul. I'm impressed. You saw an opportunity for power and you took it. This will end badly, Maul. Everyone who takes the Devil's Deal thinks they will be in control. This will end badly. You should know by now that I'm not everyone. If Raphael doesn't know that yet, he'll Well, learn. Raphael is not going to learn that because he's dead. Show me what you're capable of. There's a fight for the city's survival coming. Can I count on your help? Raphael's dead, Maul. I killed him. Um, yeah, show me what you're capable of. Nice. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Baldur's Gate is home now, and the brats are my family. Nobody messes with my family. Good. You can help out, too. Nice. I love how Happy Hands reacted to this to the hamster. I had a pet once, well a hamster. You like hamsters, Happy? Don't bug me. I'm making plain. Surprise. See anything of yours? You really don't want your eye patch, Maul? Ready to do some business? What are you up to this time? Oh, I've got a few ideas. I'll be running this whole place in no time. Maul isn't one to forget those who have helped her along the way. She'll have our back in the fight to come. 
All right, so we've got Mal, Mazora, the girl people, Valeria, Nine Fingers, Arabella, Hulse, and Volo. I'm really excited to see how all of these allies are going to play out in the final battle. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be very well done. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go back to... I'm not really sure where we want to go back to. Deepside Strand, maybe? The broad she's gone to pot ever since I left. We really need to have some more fast travels down below. I don't think I've gotten to that yet. So... Lower city central wall? I wanted to go back to the mermaid. The blushing mermaid, I think. Am I going to the right place? Yes. Southwest. Southwest. Through the park. Where we got hijacked by a whole bunch of people. I'm starting to know my way around the city. Slowly but surely. Here we go. I'm bringing Karlak. So these three, Karlak, Minsk, and Asterion, are the three people who have yet... They are the only ones who are not at max approval with me. I don't know if I'm actually going to get approval. I feel like I can with Karlak, because getting approval with Karlak is a lot easier. And honestly, Minx too, because of our chords and their moral compass. Asterion is tricky. I don't know if Asterion's going to be max, but... It's okay. Having a Sterian in your party is just very useful. <laughs> Having a lockpicker is just, you know, not something to be upset about by any stretch of the imagination. All right, let's go through here. I find it interesting that this hag support whatnots is separate from that mission. Oh no, we want... No, no. Astarian, darling. You're lovely. Come this way. We're gonna save. And Astarian is going to do initial stab. Move unseen. The baby. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Yeah, let's untrap these peculiar flowers. We don't need them sticking up the place. Tricks. I wonder if Traps. How considerate. Hysterian. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Nice. At least I got most of the traps. Charge! Mask of terror, eh? I'll show you terror. Show you tear. Let them come to me. Let them come. Hag's pawn. Ooh, that guy's got a big axe. Oh, uh oh. Oh, shank the bastards, Auntie. Auntie? Wait a minute, Auntie. Oh, is Ethel here? Oh, if Ethel is here, she is, she is going to rue the day. With haste. Click 
quick them heals. Love this. Get away from the flower, though. Mask of Vengeance. Um. Oh, we don't have Arado's Irresistible Dance anymore. That's fine. Vicious mockery. To glory or glorious death. Someone hold Boo. He does not enjoy the bumpings to come. It's all right. My hamster hears and I will. Sorry, Assyrian. It's a necessary evil. You can steal the masks from them if that'll help. I have a feeling they're not of their right mind. Uncanny dodge. You still like to prove this to protect yourself when in that case you only take half the damage as usual. Why not just always have that? Okay. They might not have their right mind, so. Delicious. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Sure. Oh, boo. Oh, well, two can play that game. Not so fast. Advantage. Um, sure, why not? Help me. Yeah, we're trying to knock you out. We're trying to knock you unconscious. Take a bite. Go for the eyes, boo. Frightened, eh? Catch my breath. 
we're doing passive. Oh, because it's ranged. That's why. Okay, so that one, yeah, the range, I have to remember, range attacks. Only range, range attacks do not, are not non-lethal. damage every turn. Just a regular attack. Back here. Oh. Ah! And so is our Earth. Oh. No choice sorry. That's disappointing. Let's have some Alright. Knock him out. Captain Grizzly is dead. Dead. Looking ahead. I tried to do. I tried to do a non-lethal, but still didn't quite work. Some Keep of them are alive, darling. but you deserve to be beautiful, my darling. Your letter just about broke this old woman's heart. Bucktooth bird, do they call you? Those monsters. Meet me tonight, the blushing mermaid, and together we'll sort this all out. You deserve to feel beautiful, Petal, and only I can make it happen. Lots of love, Auntie. I am going to kill you again. I will kill you as many times these walks on four feet as many times as necessary. Because you are a bad egg. So full of beans. You are a bad egg. Steel sharp, hamster hungry. Ransom note. My dear Captain Grizzly. My dear sweet Captain Grizzly, I've heard stories about you and what tales they were, of mighty battles and magnificent sea monsters. There's a woman who'll never be caught with her knickers down, or so I thought. Imagine my surprise when I nabbed your precious bosun Gannet from under your nose, and so easily. He's quite the resilient little bugger, hasn't said a peep about you, but he'll break, they always do. Meet me in the Blushing Mermaid's basement and come alone. Lots of love, auntie. Uh-huh. Counting house vault. Oh. Vault Nen 1 key, which is not high security. Not the high security right. one. Who dines on foam? Guess he's not wealthy enough, but he's got the first one. I can save your child. You've been a silly thing, s silly thing, sweetie. Did I not warn you? Did I tell you death was coming for wife and child both? But you didn't listen. And now the love of your life is rotting in the ground. I can't save her. But your babe, your sweet little babe, who is the image of her, I can save him. If you're willing to pay a price. I'm going to smash that hag where the sun don't shine. Modeled key. It's a deal. They showed up again, just like they, you said they would. They robbed me, stripped me naked, and then peed on me right in front of everyone. Some people laughed, others looked away, but no one helped me. Not one person. Except you. I'll do it. I'll cook your meals, make your bed, wash your feet, anything you want so long as you hurt them. So long as you make them scream. I have one request. Can I watch? 
Yeah, that one I'm not so upset that I took out. Not as upset. I took their masks off, but it still looks like their masks are there. Still alive, so that's progress. Never wanted the easy path. Beholder Iris. Hmm. I'll take that. My boots craves the crunch of unvirtuous nevers. Let's move. Essence of Beholder. Might I'm just be going to take this so I can destroy Watch them. Watch how you go. There's a trap. How primitive. On my way. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. For a lot. Trent, be cautious. Someone there. What to do? Butterflies in the stomach. Lost time, mother's loathing. Oh man. This will add this to. Gale's collection of random potions. Butterflies in the stomach. Like actual butterflies will sprout, will birth from your stomach and come out of your mouth. At the ready. Bet you the key that I just pulled off of that one person, the modeled key, is the key that will open this door. Let's see what this does. Yeah. What are you hiding in here, Auntie? Are there any traps in here? Oh. She's not here, though. Before I pull a lever, let's save. Because I don't trust this hag. She said she always comes back. Hmm. What is that? Oh. This makes things so much more convenient. Let's just destroy this. Fine wine. Oops. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Alcohol. Very flammable. What's hiding here? Healing petal, pearl. Linked to her with fell magic. These mushrooms keep Auntie Ethel alive until they are destroyed. Oh! At the start of his turn, the mushroom gains all the hit points unless some, of, some effect is, prevents it from restorative healing. Ah! They keep Auntie Ethel alive, you say. How lovely. All right, you know what? Sword at my side and hamster at hand. No, no, that was very polite. Oh, Auntie Ethel. I killed you. Ah. Did you think you were the first? That I didn't plan for it, Petra? I can kill you again. That said, I'm shocked and appalled. I can't believe you tried to gush me out in the open like that. Out in the After open? After all, it's not just me anymore. I'm... What is it they say? 
Oh, right. You took the other child. You're pregnant? How are you back? I killed you. Liar. Why should I care? How are you back? I killed you. I don't like any of these responses. Liar. Why should I care? Why should I care? Because the precious, sweet little girl I ate, she's still alive. Of course she is. Vanford sits in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hand to train. Yeah, that's how that works. I have your beat, so do the heroic thing. Dog. Yeah, I don't like having to kill her, but... Where's she at? Where is she even at? Another day, another dungeon. Auntie Ethel, where are you even at? Evil hides and boo seeks. Come on, let's go. Well, that's go. a little anticlimactic. Let's go, in. Do we need to get out of the way? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Let's get going. What do you mean I can't reach this? No time to rest. Life is simple, and so is Minsk. Did my game just bug out? All right. What now? She's not even here. Okay, this is a weird bug. Okay, so the bad news is Auntie Ethel, the hag, is back. Apparently, killing a hag is, like, permanently is crazy hard because they apparently always seem to come back somehow. And as soon as she appeared, my game bugged out. I couldn't move anyone other than Minx. I couldn't even load a game. I couldn't load a, diff a previous save. I, the only thing that I could do was... I'm not even sure if I was able to even go to the main menu. I may have had to have force closed. Something froze up my game when Auntie Ethel appeared, and I just couldn't get out of it. So I think we're going to come back to the Blushing Mermaid in a moment. So instead, but in, but instead of just going right to her, because uh, I think we're missing some pieces because they said something about Varna, saving Varna, and I'm like, who's Varna? I don't think we ever found out who Varna was. I noticed that there is this mission um, about helping the Hag survivors. I'm guessing this is connected to Auntie Ethel in some way. I mean, just a hunch. Um, so maybe if we go in here, we'll get more answers Property about... in constant use. Gathering strictly prohibited. So maybe this is where we learn about Varna? Keep your distance well, down. it's locked. So you know what? Let's crack it open. We're gonna send our beloved vampire rogue to open some doors for us. These things have stayed interesting. That might be worth a look. Eviction notice. I've had it. Snowstorms inside the house, blood weeping from the windows, and now Mr. Wimbley's cat is vomiting up frogs. The poor man had a bloody heart attack from the shock. I know you lot are trying to fight back against hags or whatever, and that's great, honestly. But I can't risk the neighborhood just because you're stupid enough to pee off a hag. Keep your rent. I want you all out by tomorrow. Help the hag survivors. We found an eviction notice. The people who lived in the Baron's Coop drew the wrath of a hag and were kicked out by their landlord. So where did they go? Into hag support group poster. How to kill a hag. We've done it. It took bloods, took sweat, blood and tears, but we've done it. We know how to kill a hag. How? Meet myself and Adriel at Old Garlow's. This is going to change everything. Marina. Wait. Marina. Isn't that the girl that we saved in Act 1? Well, we saved, but then her husband 
we resurrected as a corpse. Marina, that's her, isn't it? So did she find, somehow find out how to kill the hag for good? Hag research notes. A seemingly random collection of book titles, ingredients, and combinations. Fastidious Fungi by J.L. Corrins. Pure speculation despite the title. The Power of Words. Surviving the Fae by Annabelle Lighthammer. Chapters 418 to 425. Hag Encounters. Good details on hag gestation and pre-production cycles. The Anatomy of Hag by Knuckles Gallo. Chapter 18. Dragon Egg Mushroom plus Autumn Crocus. Non-reactive. Elmer and Wings plus Whisper Light Venom. Potential but too unstable. Crawler Mucus plus Fibber's Trumpet plus Mellowweed. Useless. Huh. I'm just gonna take all that just in case. Rusty hand axe. Garlic. Why not? Heights and boo six. Potato. Onion. We're only Shabby wardrobe. Right. It's a very small, small room. Small house. I guess it's just got the bare necessities. Um, barely legible letter. No one stopped me yet. Dear Miss Adriel, Kled found a plane. A nice old man, Mr. Garlow, used to live here, but his neighbor said he doesn't live here anymore. Kled thinks it's perfect. We can hide from the hag, or fight, or whatever you think is a good idea. Kled knows you'll have a good plan. Kled will wait at Old Garlow's for you. Bye, Kled. We found a letter from someone called Kled. In it, he said he found somewhere new for everyone to live. Old Garlow's place. He wrote that they can hide from the hag there. Can't slow down. Alright, I hope the map knows where Old Garlow's place is. Undercity. Old Garlow's place. Let's check it out. It's not too far from here. right by the counting house. Okay. Maybe they've... So maybe Marina discovered how to kill a hag for good? Because that would be really nice. That would be super, super lovely. Gold Garlows. Warning, the property of the individual known as Old Garlow has been deemed unsafe for habitation under City Bylaw 42A. Do not enter. Well, notice of condemnation. Dear Sir, as our previous correspondents have gone unanswered, a Builder's Guild representative was forced to enter your property in order to inspect the premises. Your property is found in gross violation of several safety regulations. See City Bylaws. 38A, 39C for a complete list. Until steps are taken to correct this, we are condemning the property known as Old Garlow's Place, effective immediately in the enter by law 42A. Should you wish to contest this, please contact your local bi build Builders Guild representative. Kind regards, Ardent Low, counsel for four, a four liaison. Asterian, if you could please, darling. Okay, I was like, where's Carla? She still has ma wild magic dart tendrils. Nice. Okay. Uh. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. This is creepy a. Eh, save. Especially, it's when it's creepy, even in broad daylight, that you know that they did good, did a good job. Creepy AF. I do not like this, Sam. I am. I do not like green hags and a ham. Green eggs and hag. I do not like green eggs and hag. 
But someone there. Asterion likes the paintings. Oh, I don't like. It's even worse when you have it when you have headphones and you can hear her like she's right behind you. Right behind your ear. this at all. <gasps> An intruder. Adriel. These people are under my protection. I'll not let you harm them. I'm not Harkin here to hurt to you. my words, wicked Harkin. creature. Return to the pit of evil from whence you came. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, I seek no trouble. I'm Cord, nice to meet you. What in the hell are you doing? Elite Charge. Calm down, I seek no Don't trouble. Don't listen. Who knows what spells it weaves around us? Quickly, Cleric. Helm, protector of all. Oh, great. Grant me the power to ignite this creature's flesh and burn its bones to ash. Be gone, monster. Your hag mother holds no power here. Do I look like a hag? A hag is after you? I can help. I fought one before. Touch me and I'll hurt you more than a bloody hag could. Come on. A hag is after you? I can help. I fought one before. Be friends. Friends. Don't. Please, let's not fight. I only have two long, two short rests left. Wait! Clutch smells no lie. Then you speak truth. You fought a hag before. But yeah, but she got better. We may have found ourselves an ally. Forgive the paranoia. We're being hunted by a vile and wicked hag. We feared you, her minion. She's already hexed one of us, and any mm. of us could be next. Mariana? Marina? If you peed off a hag, you're screwed. Why is she hunting you? I've fought enough hags for one lifetime. Eh, we can fight another one, but I know who it is. Yeah, and it's personal. The, getting this hag is personal. She is a piece of work. Why is she hunting because you? Because we dared to do the impossible. We dared to fight back. Oh, so did I. You see, all of us here have fallen victim to a hag's vicious ways. But instead of succumbing to despair, we rose above it. Good for you. Thanks to Marina, mm -hmm. our leader. Nice. Together, Marina. we've been helping others who've suffered at the claws of a hag. Yeah, I hate Only to break it to you. Marina's been hexed by the very hag who now hunts us. Doggone it. What have happened to her husband? Marina, I know her. She was captured by Aunt Ethel. Let me know. Have a look at this hex. Maybe it can help. Looks like you're in for rough times. I mean, she was captured by Aunt Ethel. You're the one that saved her. The <laughs> one that ventured to the depths of Ethel's lair. I can hardly believe it. You look so normal. Say what? By Helm, perhaps what? That is hope. If anyone can help Marina, it's you. She's upstairs. But be warned. She's not as you remember her. Girl, cord is many things, <laughs> but normal is not one of them. I don't know if I have removed curse. This city reeks of evil. Or I may have removed curse. I'm wondering if we need Shadow Heart. If it looks like she's hurt, I may just temporarily bring Shadow Heart here. If she's hexed. If it says that she's cursed. Yeah, because I don't know. Yeah, we don't have anything called remove curse. Step on the path. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see if I need to bring way. her. Pled. Please, old lady Marina. She's nice, and kind, and sweet to Cled. Uh, to her, uh, everyone. <laughs> you think Marina's sweet? I found her more sour, to be honest. You and Marina sound close. You should leave while you still can. You and Marina sound close. Friends only. Lady Marina is too pretty and kind for the likes of Cled. Oh! But if you can't stop the hex, Cled will take care of her. Oh! Feeding, cheering, scratching behind her ears. 
Clint will do see, his best. See, I ship them. If she is able to put her husband to rest, I I feel like she Clint. I I totally ship Marina and Clint together. Any idea how to remove the hex? No. Clint isn't good at hag magic. Can't help sweet lady Marina. Okay. I don't have to say any of the other things. That's not Seems necessary. Seems like a good moment to talk. Adriel. I'm glad you're here. I clearly lack the power to keep the hag and her hexes away from Marina. You protected Marina until now. That's worth something. You are kind. But I serve Helm. And failing to keep this hex from Marina is unforgivable. In both his eyes and mine. Mm -hmm. Any idea how to remove the hex? None. The magic originates from a hag's twisted lair. Of that, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But as to its I know where cure, that is. Helm has not revealed it to me. I know where the lair is, so if I have to go and try to kill her again but she might have she hexed Your my game cleric seeks the power she, to defend these innocents against the hag if you saw she hexed my game so that i could not attack her that was like ultimate that was that's crazy powerful man if he's even able How to fares, Marina? prevent me from if she's even able to reach into the programming of the game itself and cause it to crash. That's some serious hexing there, man. Ink spattered journal. This journal is written in a sloppy ink spattered hand and dotted with drawings of stick figures. Day one, Cled and me met some nice people. They didn't laugh when Cled told them about the red caps and the rats and the hag. Cled thinks he's finally made friends. Aww. Day 10, the landlord is angry. He says all the weird things happening are our fault, but they're not. The landlord doesn't care. He says we have to leave. My friends are sad, which means Cled is sad. Cled wants to help. Day 11, Cled found a place to stay. It belonged to old Garlo, but he doesn't live there anymore. My friends are really happy. They thank Cled. Cled is happy he did a good job. I am going to protect Cled for all it is worth. He is a sweetheart. Shush, you. Shush. Helm and Boss Journal. This is written. This journal is written in ele an elegant hand. On each page, a gauntlet with a staring eye is carefully drawn. I would. This is probably Adri Adriana. Adriana. I was lost when I came to the city. A coward. A drunkard. I thought everything that made me worthy had been stripped away by the Anis Hag. And then Mar Marine, Marina found me. She helped me remember the tenants I once fought for: courage, honor, duty. She brought me back to Helm. She saved my life. Now my savior, my friend, is in pain. A hag hexed her, trapping her in the body of a sheep. It was my job to protect her and the others, and I failed. If she dies, I will not be long. It will not. I will not be long following her. Okay. She was polymorphed. Convenient. You showing up like this. You may have the others fooled, but I shall be keeping a close eye on you. It is convenient, isn't it? Marina is an old friend. I wouldn't hurt her. Then stop wasting my time and go help her. You have a beautiful blue tongue, sir. Okay. I find it interesting that they probably aren't hearing the laughing that I'm hearing. Rockfish. What's down in the wooden hatch? Huh. Well, hello. Okay. Go ahead and disarm that Trails. last mine. How considerate. That one. That one. A trap. That one. I'm just gonna unlock everything. Thank you. Rock. 
Rotten fish, rotten fish. Yeah, this place has seen some better days. Watch your back. A crooked touch. That's curious. Check that in a moment. Ooh, this cheese wheel isn't rotten yet. I wonder. Ooh. Underwear. Ooh, somebody's underwear. We hit the jackpot. Smoking pipe, silver glass, music box, inklings. I've got a long road ahead. Inklings. This novel is bookmarked on a page lined with markings. This reader seems to have this underscored certain parts for emphasis. After all, there's no point in denying the undeniable, which until that moment I had obscured with the million minor tasks by which I measured my life. Yes, the polishing, the scrubbing, the pouring of wine and tea and deference into my master's cup. All of it had surrounded and obscured the essential true truth of my life. Uh, like a phalanx now fallen. I had wasted my years, one by one, and now there was hardly any left to me at all. Um, a greeting to his home's new occupants. To whom it may concern. We shall never meet, but I am Garlo, and I have spent most of my life in the walls in which you find yourself. Now find yourself. I served long within this home, now such that it was left to me when my master died. I devoted myself wholly to a life of service, but found one, once my time had, had finished that I had hardly lived for myself for a single day. That's changed now. I depart for Kalim Chan in the morning and hope to see the world from there. Good for you, Garlo. Please take care of this little place. It is my whole world. Best, Garlo. Good for you. Garlo's retirement plan. List of things to do. Climb a tree. Have a truly exceptional sandwich. Spend a whole day reading. Visit Waterdeep. Get a massage. Swim in the Chanthar. Buy a new coat. Get a cat. That's a great list. I Good on you, Garlo. I am proud of you. Just, you gotta live life, man. It's the simple things. I love how I walked all the way over there just to toss the... Open up. Toss the book. Garlo left some of his savings here, though. Traveler's chest. Okay. Keep a blade close. Disarm that. Can't give up now. Okay. What a day. Go there. We disarmed it, but we can't go in. That's really weird. I am very confused. Very confused. Sorry, I had to kill a fly. All right, well, I can't go into that door. Guess I'm not gonna worry about it for right Looking now. Ahead. Moving ahead, here goes nothing. 